What's up, YouTube? Top City 5401 here. I've been somewhat busy in the hobby. Went to the third to last A's game. Big Mac Fanatic and I went. We had a blast. A's had a walk-off win in the bottom of the ninth. Mason Miller got a win. So we got this final series. It's like a cardboard stock, kind of like the top super cardboard stock from 1970. Pretty cool piece there. Nice memento. When we were at the game, it didn't really hit me how much I'm going to miss the Oakland Coliseum and the Oakland A's till the game ended. And when the game ended, I didn't really want to leave. I knew we had to get going. But I did not want to leave, guys. I, I, I felt really like a sense of loss. I, I'm very thankful that uh, I was able to go to that last game with Eric. Man, I'm telling you guys, going to a game with Eric is awesome. Because usually when I go to a ball game, I'm like the most knowledgeable fan. And I'm having to explain things to people or, you know, just share a lot of stuff. But it's the opposite when I go with Eric. That guy knows baseball, let me tell you. So he was telling me all kinds of stuff that I never even thought about with all the players. And he, he knew the whole lineup. It was, it was, it was awesome. Anyways, moving on. I do have a bunch of pickups that I'd, that I'm going to show off here on this video. So this is a cool piece here. A nice memory of the last game from Oakland that I personally went to, which was the Tuesday night game, the walk off. Anyways, here's some pickups. Got a Shohei Otani Sepia Refractor. Man, I love that shine. It's a cool card there. I've been picking up stuff. I've been busy, guys, picking up all, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, my goal kind of for the rest of the year is enjoy the hobby, but try not to spend too much money. A lot easier said than done just because I like so many baseball cards. I haven't gone to the LCS in a while, and I'm starting to feel that itch for the LCS. But here's a pink refractor of Mike Trout. This card was like two bucks or something. I mean, something ridiculous. That's a nice looking card. And then this one, it's weird. When Josh Gibson was crowned the all-time batting average leader in Major League Baseball after they integrated all the Negro League stats. His cards absolutely went berserk. And as quickly as the price of his cards went up, they fell down. And this is an example. I got this card for six bucks on eBay. It's number 35 out of 50. Probably right after the, uh, the stats, the Negro League stats were incorporated with MLB baseballs, a card like this would have sold for I'm guessing two, three hundred bucks. I mean, his stuff just went bonkers for a su super short period of time. But now it's, I've been picking up a lot of Josh Gibson stuff. I'm not showing off everything I've gotten recently. I'm just going to show off some of the stuff. But glad to add that to the collection. Beautiful card, Diamond Kings. Love that image of Josh Gibson. And then I picked up a Albert Pujols. X-Fractor. Right after I bought this, I realized I had a copy. So now I got two. Sometimes you just need more than one copy of cool refractor cards, right? Horizontal for the win. We got that one. Picked up a few posies. So I'll show those off real quick. These are all numbered to like, well, one's numbered to 100. This one's numbered to 100. And these two are numbered to 75. And I believe I got all three of these cards for under $5. <clears throat> this hobby right now is affordable if you're not after the super big time cards. So it's like the, the more desirable cards are just escalating in price. And the less desirable cards seem to me that they're becoming more and more affordable. So a hobbyist, a true hobbyist like myself, this is great because I can pick up cool cards. I mean, these three cards are under 20 bucks and I love all three of them. They're awesome. 
it's just fun, right? They're fun cards. That's that's why I, I that's that's the purpose of me being in this hobby is just having a good time. So we got those three. I picked up a few Bonds duplicates. I mean, I got this card for almost nothing, a Prism 2015 Panini Prism Silver. And I probably have a few copies of this card now. And then I'm, I've am i been trying to pick up more Leaf Rookies, the Canadian counterpart to Donruss. So picked up one of those. This is a cool card. These were some kind of test issue. Cyber action. All you younger collectors may not know what CD-ROMs are, but it's something that you used to put into a computer. I guess the most comparable thing to a CD-ROM would be like a zip drive. So you could put a CD-ROM into a computer and it, and it would have a program. It would download a program or some kind of information, or you could download information onto a cd Rum. Anyways, that's what this is. Of course, I don't have a computer that would... You know, this technology is irrelevant, so you can't really... Yeah, I guess if I really wanted to, I could track down a computer where I could see what's on that CD-ROM. But these were never publicly released. They were test issues. So I got that. That's kind of tough to find. Only a Bonds collector would want something like that. I did pick up a nice, man, these cards are so sick. The Diffractor. Love it. Man, Tops, 98 Tops Tech Diffractor. And then more of these popped up on eBay, these printing plates. So I picked up a couple of them, 500 home run and 100. I like how in this, these cards are not released in the same product. That's why the plates are different. One of them has a border on the front with an actual card stock on the back. Whereas the other one is just a pure printing plate with a sticker on the back explaining what you have. But these cards are cool. Of course, they're one of one printing plates. You can never have enough one of one Barry Bonds cards. This is something I discovered I needed when I was working on my checklist with Eric. Pick this up. Really cool card there. Swing for the fences gold. I don't know how rare these are, but I didn't have it in my collection. And then I did pick up a few things from the famous JM collection. Starting with this piece right here. I believe this is an upper deck. Yeah, it's upper deck, and this was the postseason, our 93 World Series contenders. And 93 was the last year that there was no wild card, so only four teams made it into the playoffs, two in the National League and two in the American League. And the Giants that year won 103 games and did not go to the playoffs because the Braves, what up, Ed from Pittsburgh, that's his boy, McGriff, the Braves won 104 games that year. But there we go. Bonds was a World Series contender, even though he didn't even make the postseason because they didn't have a wild card. Who knows what would have happened that year? And then here's a really cool piece. This is an uncut panel of these bleachers cards. And the panel itself is numbered 959 out of 1,500. So they did produce 1,500 of these on purpose. Got this from the famous JM collection. So that was cool. And I got a couple of other items from the, the JM collection. Some of the stuff I've gotten lately I've put away. I got this line drive, and this is another item here. I'm going to uh, reconfigure my camera. This is another item that I discovered I needed when uh, the last time Big Mac Fanatic, Eric, and I were going over my checklist. So the line drive, this was in mint condition when it left J Jeff's house, and now it's all bent up. It, it didn't make it. Normally, he packages things well, but this thing got kind of hammered. 
He didn't sandwich it in cardboard like he normally does. But what are you going to do? I forgive him. <laughs> and then we got another piece here. I think it's a line drive as well. Let's see. It's on the back. Yeah, action photo. I think this one is actually a a card. This one may not be ca cataloged as a card because it's on photo stock. These things are kind of confusing. And there's no number on the back. Anyway, you know what? I'm kind of curious about the back of this thing. Let's see if it got ruined. Let's see, this one appears that it did not get ruined in shipping. Uh, should I open it, guys? I might open it later. I just don't feel like opening it on camera. You know, I do have several exciting pickups coming my way, so I'll be showing those off in my next video. And I'm going to go out. Whoa, I got stacks of cards all over the place. Yeah. I'm going to go out with a, with probably, whoa, man, I love these printing plates. So I'll go out with a few cards here. I guess all bonds. And then <clears throat> let's go out with this Coliseum. Man, I'm going to miss the A's, guys. It, it really hit me after the game ended. I didn't want to leave. Maybe I'll put a clip at the end of this video of the atmosphere at the ballpark after the game ended. Thanks so much for tuning in, and as always, until next time, happy collecting!